Florida is going to come up short. That is the warning coming down today from state watchdogs in Tallahassee, worried about a serious revenue shortfall as COVID-19 restrictions continue to smother the state's economy. And tonight, our Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders with how budget cuts could be coming and what it means for you. Nonprofit Florida Policy Institute warning COVID-19's downturn has likely brought the steady flow of sales tax dollars to a trickle. With this virus, we saw a complete stop to all economic activity. CEO Sonif Knight of... says the full impact isn't known yet, but expects revenue loss will be worse than the 08 Great Recession, which cost Florida $6 billion over three years. With only $4 billion in reserves, she's urging the state push for more federal dollars from Congress to fill potential money gaps. Without that, um, it's just going to be that states will be faced with making um, cuts across the board that are going to be very detrimental. Those cuts would likely have to come from dollars already promised in next year's budget. Hundreds of millions for state employee raises, affordable housing or conservation programs, many feeling a direct impact. Your job is kind of in limbo and you're not sure of your salary. People like Shay Smith, a Florida teacher. After months of lobbying work, she's now worried the 500 million lawmakers approved for educator raises is prime for the chopping block. We just like to feel valued at this time. We want the lawmakers to make sure that they're protecting the funding. Governor DeSantis is already mulling heavy use of his veto pen. He said earlier this month everything is on the table, including cuts to things he supported in session. If we want the budget to stick, I'm going to have to, to really look hard about what is absolutely necessary and then what things we can punt till next time. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.